Hey guys, this is Magical Lady Duchess, and as I told you, I was going to give you a review of American Horror Story, The Apocalypse. Now, this premiere, I was kind of like, I watched it twice. Actually, I watched it twice. And so I took notes as I always do because I didn't want to like miss anything. And you know, you know how I am, guys. I'm really quick on taking notes and stuff like that. So let me adjust this light a little bit. Yeah. All right. So the first thing I'm going to say is this. Um, they, American Horror Story spared no expense on weird shit. Like, it absolutely, positively did not. Like, literally, it confronted, like, the end of the world type stuff. The end of the world, the concentration camp type shit, the... Like, literally, like, the fear that you've always had your whole entire life of what you think the end of the world is going to be. They played it to a fucking T. Even to the point, I can't think of the name of that movie that only the rich were able to survive. And, like, scientists and stuff like that. What was it? Two? I can't think of the name of the movie. With John Cusack kind of reminded me of that in the concept of how people were deemed worthy and not worthy so it takes place in santa monica and like a billionaire he calls his daughter and was like i pay for you there's like a a, a private plane a private jet for like four people get on it i love you i'm sorry i hope i see you one day whatever whatever so santa monica airport that's where they're headed to chica sitting in the seat getting her hair done and um they are the things on the news for them to be evacuated. And so um, they've already bombed Hong Kong, London, Moscow. And so now they're asking for people to um, they're asking for people to leave. They're asking for people to evacuate because it's World War Three. They even have Jackie Collins in there. So I was pretty, um, and she's Miss Edie. And so I was pretty excited to see her. Like, she's still getting work. Go, girl. I love it. Um, and then, like, the dude, like, drops off the building on the way. He Like, a, I guess because people, I guess it's like fight or flight in a way. When people, like, there's nothing else to do. People just, like, kill themselves because they don't want to feel the pain of something. It's kind of like how people, uh does they how they do in life well anyway her name is coco and so it was coco's dad he's like the billionaire and um she's the reason why that they get to go on the jet and her assistant is there with her as well um so like the pilot literally shoots the aviation people that work there because they didn't want them to get on a plane um and then he wound up dies dying anyway because somebody hit him in his head and then the plane automatically takes off and I'm like, what the fuck? But it doesn't show that. It just shows like from one scene, him getting beat up to like the plane is in the sky. And it was like, where's the pilot? Uh, Coco's assistant opened up the fucking uh, cabinet door, the cabin door. And ain't nobody in that bitch. That bitch is on automatic, automatic pilot. And then um, I was kind of confused about that part. Um, then there's like a nuclear bomb. It hits the plane adjust and shake and there's like Evan Peters in there, Adina Porter, Bill Lord, Kathy Bates is back and Kathy Bates got this nice ass haircut like I would like rock the fuck out that. Not to throw a plug in for haircuts but I decided to take the hair out and do a little something different so I got a little something going on different. I don't know if I like the back part but I like this going on and it'll be cute when it falls even more in the next couple of days but anyway so 40 minutes like the first eight minutes the first literally eight minutes of like the show i was like oh my god what the fuck like that is so scary and then she could like totally put possible like happen coco boyfriend which was really funny they was talking about that she did like a a contract like when one wanted to be let go or released she was like you released <laughs> And he and, and you know he probably died and shit. Um, so forty minutes into it, 
his family, the, the, the young man, he literally um, gets, you know, his letter from UCLA. Um, and then his dad comes in. He was like, y'all ain't been watching the news, which makes me kind of want to watch the fucking news because I don't watch the news. So I probably need to watch the news a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so it's called the cooperative. They're the governing being of all of this stuff happening. And they have been knowing it that it was going to happen for years. Which leads me to believe that a lot of these movies and everything else, they are literally based off of shit that's really going to happen. This is just my hypothesis. Hypothesis. And it's just my theory. And I'm like a conspiracy theory person sometimes too. So this totally makes me believe in that shit. So um, only the wealthy... And then um, the corporate come, the genetic makeup, they come to pick up the one of the young, the, the guy that gets, um, I didn't write his name now, the guy that gets approved for like to go to UCLA or whatever. And they come in, the corporate come in and they tell him that he did this DNA ancestry like dot com type shit and that's how they was able to get his dna to know that he would be the perfect specimen which i'm assuming to help start the new world but like now i did my ancestry.com shit and now i'm kind of like really scared because now they have my genetic dna like the fuck but anyway so two weeks later after they're like it, they take him and this pretty little black girl and um of course she's light skin with curly hair shocker right um so she they she's like they have like two weeks later they're like in a fallout zone and you have to either like i said be rich like really smart or have like this great genetic makeup and they punish people by shooting them in their fucking head then you remember, um, what was her name? The, uh, on the coven when it, when they did a uh, season, when they did season, the season with the coven on there, they bring her back. And what was her name on her? Cardelia? Cardelia? Cardelia. Yeah, they bring her back and she's not Cardelia on here. She is the Wilhelmina, Wilhelmina, I think. Ulamina. It 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 covered so much, like so fucking fast that I know that as the season goes on, they're gonna explain things a little bit more. I sure hope so. Cause I was just like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I was like, wait, hold up, girl. This is a lot of shit. So um she says this one comment, and I thought that it was really essential. She said that technology destroyed the world. It gave the world the illusion that everything was okay and balanced and all this other stuff and that they are equal and you're not. So I said that the other day. I said that people use technology and stuff like that to, it's too much sometimes. And I can say that through social media and everything else. Of course, it's how you guys see me. That's how, how you guys know me. But damn, social media gives everybody a voice and sometimes their voice is not so positive where they can sit behind a screen don't have to show who they really are don't have to show their face or anything else and have all the conversations in the world about people and how things should go so anyway um the purple if you were purple you were like the elite like you were worthy and if you were gray you were a worker a server and so then they talked about like the nuclear winter and they talked about death. And then they said that they couldn't leave the building and that the people that were out there were full of cancer. And they called, she literally called them cancer pus, cancer pus monsters. Cancer pus monsters. Okay. Um, <clears throat> They also, you have to dress up for dinner and stuff like that. So be prepared for the weird ass hairstyles. Um, then she said another thing, Cardelia, Cardelia girl, you are something else. I'm sorry, Wilhelmina, Miss Wilhelmina, I, I, Miss Wilhelmina Venom or something like that. I think that's her name. And she said something about there's no excuse for being tardy when there's nothing left to do. <laughs> she said there's no excuse for being tardy. There's nothing left to do. That's what she said. 
So anyway, um, their food is like a cube and like this black chick, which I don't know her name yet. She was like, all the proteins and everything you need is in that cube, girl, give me some meat. Then they wound up uh, saying that one of the guys were, um, he, had, he was radioactive and they fucking shot him. They shot him. And I think they cooked him because they was like spitting out bones and shit. So, um, <clears throat> one of the young men, the one that from you that was gonna go to UCLA, um, six 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 was on his mirror, and my grandbaby was getting her hair braided at the time. And so little, she was like six six six, and I'm thinking, oh, there will be some numbers that you fucking repeat out loud. Nice. Um, and it was, and then he heard something like beware demon or something like that. So, you know, of course the first show is just like a bunch of setup for, for all the rest of the episodes. Um, then Kathy Bates and Miss Wilhelmina, Miss Venom, they like dress up in purple and like play cards. And I thought that was cute. And at first I thought they was going to kiss and then maybe some lesbian action. Kind of disappointed. Wasn't really like that. Cause Kathy Bates is like the militant with the jet black hair and it being calm back and shit. So... I don't know what's gonna happen with it. I mean, they are really playing up and down upstairs. They probably pissing up there somewhere. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think. I think like that was pretty much it. Like it was like um, so like the season eight, episode one. Um, like the ending, it's really not the ending, it's like the beginning. So it really set a lot of precedence as far as what's to come. So I'm excited to see what's to come. I'm an American Horror Story lover. I have watched all the seasons and I must say that shit gets weirder and fucking weirder. But I'm here for it because I'm a weirdo too. So are you. That's why you watch this review. So anyway, um, that's it. That's my review. I can't wait to see what else happens. I'm I'm going to give it a couple of more episodes to really draw me in and really get an understanding how the coven because they said season one and season in the coven season. So I'm I'm trying to see how that kind of flows in um so that I have a understanding of the show and where they're going. Cause I love American Horror Story. They, the best one to me was The Coven. And so the fact that they intermingled and intertwined, it was really good. And then, like I said, to think about the end of the world and what it could mean for most people, that's pretty, like, that's pretty something. Pretty fucking scary. Um, but, you know, it looked like it was genuine, like, hurt and pain in that in those scenes i couldn't even imagine not being able like my husband goes over the road and i'm at home and something like this happens and i don't even get to say goodbye like that's a lot and it really in the greater part of the apocalypse it's like you have to remember that this shit there's some truth to it i really believe it there's some truth to it. Like, I believe it. It's some truth to it. Um, Sarah Paulson and Evan Peters, I mean, they are American horror stories. <laughs> they are, they are, they are. Um, remember Fallout Shelters and I, they, I think they took the murder house and that's the house that they're using for um, the house here. So, yeah. That's all I have to say. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited, you know, to see Venable. Venable. Wilhelmina Venable. Venable. That's her name. That's Paulson's name on there. So, I'm willing, I'm ready to see what's going to happen. Um, they actually like to watch people suffer, which I'm not surprised. That's what the fuck it, it always is. But um, I don't know. 18 months and Outpost 3 and 
Coco, which is Leslie Gro Grossman, I think. So I, I like her too as a um, actor or whatever. And Timothy and Emily are the um, the genetic, genetically superior, genetically, you know, people or whatever. And yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this review. I will try to review what I'm going to review all the episodes of season eight, The Apocalypse. So, hey, check out my website, immagicalladyduchess.com for readings, tarot readings, organic spiritual readings. Um, I do root work and stuff like that as well. And I sell hemp products now as far as healing lotion, soaps, oils, and everything else. And you can also check out my other um, YouTube channel, which is called The Infinite, The Young Infinite Experience. The Young or The Young Infinite Experience. I'm going to post some more videos. That, that site or that page is going to be more so about herbs and stuff like that and supplements and just living a more healthier life organically. So many blessings to you guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please leave your comments below. Tell me what you liked about episode one and what you didn't and what you think is going to happen. Bye for now.